In a past investor conference call, Elon Musk mentioned aiming for 50,000 Tesla semis being produced per year in 2024, but how many trucks will Tesla really be able to build in this coming year? In this video, I'm going to discuss a recent Tesla semi production update given by Tesla VP Lars Moravi and share my expectations for how many Tesla semis I believe will be built next year. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. Back in January of 2023, Tesla held a special event to announce plans to expand Gigafactory Nevada to include not only new space for 4680 battery manufacturing, but also space to mass produce the Tesla Semi. However, as of late November 2023, according to this Henrik Zane post on X.com, the Gigafactory Nevada expansion project has not yet started and is on hold. However, just because the factory expansion is on hold right now does not mean that Tesla is not going to be able to mass produce the semi in 2024 because Tesla will apparently be building a separate standalone building beside their current factory where they will mass produce the Tesla semi instead. It's unclear if this is going to be a temporary factory and something that they build very quickly or if this is a more permanent solution and that something's changing with Tesla's plans at the factory. But nonetheless, 2024 is almost here and Tesla does not currently have a high volume factory, um, just their current low volume pilot facility. So 50,000 Tesla semis being built in 2024 doesn't look like a possibility. With that being said, what are Tesla's plans for mass production of the Tesla Semi? Well, thankfully, in a recent video on the Jay Leno's Garage YouTube channel, Tesla VP Lars Moravi shared when mass production of the Semi should begin and how many Semi trucks Tesla has in their fleet. Here are some Tesla Semi details that were revealed in this video. Lars mentioned, quote, the original thought was we were going to use the batteries that were in the back of the trailer to power the Semi to get there. Then we made it so efficient, we didn't need to do that. I've covered this in depth in other videos, so I won't talk about it very much here, but the Tesla Semi is extremely efficient. Not only efficient with um, an empty load, but very efficient when fully loaded. Once again, on Tesla's website, it's written that when fully loaded, the Tesla Semi has a consumption of less than two kilowatt hours per mile, and in December of 2022, Elon confirmed that the efficiency was actually somewhere around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Beyond Tesla's claims, this kind of efficiency was corroborated by a manager who works for PepsiCo. And in a video that was published on runonless.com, this manager said, quote, for the past several months, we've been able to stay below 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile in terms of efficiency of this fleet. In addition, for comparison, this kind of efficiency really is better than any other battery electric truck that's available on the road right now in North America as well. Now, beyond efficiency, going back to that Jay Leno's Garage video, Lars Marevi also said, quote, but we have close to 100 semis on our fleet now, and they're doing that run, and we're working with Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and get it right, so we can go into volume production next year. I'll talk about mass production shortly, but first of all, I want to discuss how many semi trucks Tesla has been able to build so far and how long that has taken. According to what Tesla's senior manager of semi truck engineering, Dan Priestley mentioned in an October 2023 Jay Leno's Garage YouTube video, Tesla began pilot production of the Tesla semi at Giga Nevada in Q3 of 2022. Also, in addition to the close to 100 semis that are in the Tesla fleet, we know that PepsiCo has at least 36 Tesla semis. So it looks like to me that Tesla has built somewhere um, close to or somewhere around 136 Tesla semis since Q3 of 2022. That is, of course, a somewhat small number. But remember, once again, the truck is being built on a pilot line and these trucks really still could be considered prototypes. Notice once again what Lars said, quote, we're working with Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and get it right so we can get into volume production next year. This really echoes something that Dan Priestley previously mentioned in that Jay Leno's Garage YouTube video 
as was reported in this InsideEVs.com article. Priestley mentioned, quote, we're collecting data, we're getting a lot of really great driver feedback, and then we're going to take that time to do a bunch of improvements and bring that into high volume and really try to be a major player in the market. So while I wish there were a lot more than around 136 Tesla semis on the road right now, it is good that Tesla is taking the time to really get this product right before they mass produce it. And it wouldn't make sense for them to build a big factory to build the Tesla semi before they had everything dialed in. And really when it comes to commercial trucking, those trucks are used very heavily. Like for example, PepsiCo drives trucks in their fleet around 1 million miles before replacing them. And when you compare that to say like what a passenger car goes through, the durability of a commercial semi truck has to be really dialed in. And once again, Tesla is using data from their own fleet and from the PepsiCo fleet to really make sure that the Tesla semi is everything that it needs to be before they start mass producing it. I take it as a very positive sign that Lars would mention still mass production of the Tesla semi in 2024. That makes me believe that they're pretty close to getting this all dialed in. And I believe we will see Tesla start building that separate mass production facility at Gigafactory Nevada pretty soon. Another positive sign for Tesla semi mass production comes down to the fact that as was reported in October of this year by this Electrek article, Tesla had at that time 10 positions open that they were hiring for for the Tesla Semi. In addition, I recently pulled up the Tesla careers page and at the time when I pulled this data, they had 18 positions open once again for Tesla Semi related positions. So it looks like Tesla is moving forward with mass production, although 50,000 Tesla Semis being built in 2024 does not look like a possibility. With that being said, a separate standalone building to mass produce the Semi, um, at least for now, could go up quicker than you might think. And it appears like Tesla does plan to have a new factory up and running by the end of 2024, or I don't believe Lars Moravi would have mentioned volume production next year. With that being said, I predict Tesla will build around 5,000 semis in 2024, and that 2025 will be the year when they really start mass producing it at a level that could reach somewhere around 50,000 semis in a single calendar year. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.